Hi, this is Alatisha Kane, and I would like to show you how to add read alouds to your virtual classroom. First, I have added books to a virtual classroom that was created by Rebecca Hambright. To see more creations by Rebecca, feel free to visit her website that is listed below, and you can follow her on Instagram. As you can see, I am featuring books by Ezra Jack Keats. I would like to include The Snowy Day to complete this selection that I have on the bookshelf. The first step is to go over to Google to find a picture. I'm going to search Ezra Jack Keats. There it is. Select images. Here's a picture of the snowy day. I am going to right click and select copy image. Then I'm going to go back over to Google Slides so that I can right click and select paste. The picture is too big so I'm going to resize it by clicking and dragging it down to size in order for it to fit on the bookshelf. Let's head over to YouTube so we can change the picture of the snowy day until we read aloud. In YouTube, I am going to search for the snowy day read aloud. Here it is. I see a few selections, but I notice at the top that this selection is not only a read aloud, but it's also an animated story that may pique the interest of my students. Let's take a peek. A Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. Of course, you would listen to the entire story to ensure that it is appropriate for your students. And speaking of being appropriate, we don't want to send this YouTube link directly to the students because oftentimes they have an audio play selection that could distract the students. So let's take it a step further so we can omit the auto play section. Let's copy this link. We can either do so from the top or from the bottom where it says share and select copy. Now we will go to a website that is called Safe YouTube and we will paste in the link. Generate link. It will show the video that you have selected and it will give you a Safe YouTube link. Select copy, and now we could go back over to your interactive classroom in Google Slides. Select the book, choose insert, link, and then paste in the safe YouTube link. And click apply. Let's check to ensure that this book is connected to the safe YouTube link. Here is our video that we are planning to send to our students. And as you can see, there's no autoplay on the side. When the video is finished, it will stop and will not advance to another video. My read aloud collection is now complete. However, I would like to add information about Ezra Jack Keats so that when the students click on his picture, they could read more information about him. I was able to find the Ezra Jack Keats Foundation website and it provides Ezra's bio for kids. If I click it, I can obtain a link so that the students can read information about this author. So I'm going to highlight this link, copy it, and go back into my interactive classroom. 
from here click on his picture select insert link and paste in the link click apply and now it is connected to this website so they could read more information now i am satisfied with my virtual classroom that has an interactive library for my students if you would like more tips and tricks on how to create your own virtual classroom join me on the bitmoji craze facebook page